Hello, one and all. This is Luckless Lovelocks, and welcome to the Council. I've been following this game for a little bit, and it, it has me really intrigued. It promises to tell a unique narrative, so it's going to be using some kind of new gameplay element, some new way of telling a story. And it promises that our decisions are really going to matter. I've heard that before in narrative-based games, so we'll see if they're able to pull it off in this one. It also says that we're going to be developing these characters from episode to episode throughout this episodic game. I'm not sure what the release schedule is going to be like for the episodes, so we'll just have to take them one at a time and, and see how it works out. Um, it also promises to be full of like intrigue and deception and mystery. So for those of you that have been watching me play through Orwell, this, you know this is right up my alley. Without further ado, let's... Let's just, let's enter the manor and see what happens. New game. I'm really excited. I've been waiting for this one for a little bit. Uh, it looks really cool. Let's do this. You're not getting anywhere with this von Borschert. You know, I kind of get the same feeling, my dear Sarah. Listen. Nothing. Not a sound. No one's coming to save you. Huh, that's what you think. The Golden Order knows exactly where we are. <laughs> By the time your ridiculous secret society turns up, I'll be long gone. As for you, nothing will remain of your body. If you touch a single hair on my mother's head, I'll skin you alive. You know, Louis, I have no intention of beating your dear mother. There are more persuasive ways of making you talk. All right, this guy's really creepy. You've stolen something from me that I intend to get back. They all look creepy, actually. Where have you hidden it? Von Borschert, you can't sell that book on the black market anymore. This is finished. We know you're planning on selling it at one of Lord Mortimer's parties. All right? Just tell us who the buyer is and we can make a deal. You've no idea of the trouble you've gotten yourselves into. Oh, but you will tell me where it's hidden. I can promise you that. Ugh. Ugh. Stop annoying our host, Louis. Son, didn't what happened to you in Rome teach you anything? Just a few more minutes and my concoction will be ready. It's like a truth potion. With this, your bodies will dissolve in less than four hours. You'll see. Okay, maybe not. It loosens tongues in no time. Your bodies will dissolve? You know, I have to admit, Mother, the only thing you've ever taught me is that damn motto of yours. Always remain rational and open. I got it. I've opened the shackles. Draw him over here. I'll take care of him. Von Borchardt. Von Borchardt. Hmm? Listen, let's make a deal. I'll tell you where the book is if you let my mother go free. Oh, what are you playing at? Don't worry, mother. You want to play the hero. Pity you're not in any position to do so. For the last time. Where is Alazif? Let me do this. Trust me. Oh, jeez. Okay. Let's let's give it a shot. Let's just trust her. Please, be my guest, Mother. Mm. Ah. 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 I noticed well it said treat. Well Louis. You reacted perfectly. How do you feel, Mother? Couldn't be better. He's alive. 
so I can question him after we get back. It's a trait unlocked Pity trusting. He's just a middleman. Hmm. Means I haven't finished with this case. Oh, I had a feeling you'd be running off on one of your adventures again, Mother. You know what? I'm warning you. This time, I'm coming with you. No. Even though you impress me more and more, I have to do this on my own. Mother, you're no spring chicken anymore. Come on, let's go home. <laughs> They're also casual don't about this. Don't forget to send our men to tend to Von Borchardt. <laughs> okay. One month later, January 20th, 1793. Lord Mortimer's Island off the coast of England. I wonder if I should have been like writing stuff down during that. <laughs> Is it, I wonder if it's one of those games where we need to write everything down. I don't. I have no idea. I know nothing about this game. I love going into the, these things blind. Well done, mother. You just had to pick up Bob Burchard's trail on your own, didn't you? You ditch me in Paris with no explanation, and off you go to infiltrate one of the world-renowned receptions of this Lord Mortimer, and now he writes me to say that you've gone missing on his private island? Which, by the way, looks more like a big rock than a paradise island. Episode one, the mad ones. Who were the mad ones? The least he could do is explain to me how he managed to lose you. In any case, it is time for you to stop all this, Mother. It no longer suits your age. Well, I'm sure I'll find you once again, slogging through the caves beneath the island, searching for some long-lost oh, mystical oh, object that you just can't live without. I'm already hating this trip, and all I've done is well, think about it. Contrary to what one may be able to imagine, it was not the host himself who invited me. Well now, Duchess, we find ourselves both invited by Sir Hall. Well, how very amusing. Perhaps we have some common interests, Your Eminence. Is this your first time at one of Lord Mortimer's legendary parties? Oh, no. We have been friends since long ago. But as I'm doing some business with Sir Hall, the invitation came from him. Well, I simply can't wait for all the festivities to begin. And you, good sir, what brings you here? He's got some kind of tattoo on his hand. So it looks like we, we're not on a time limit on uh, how long we take to response. Let's get to know. Um, Jeez, I don't know what to, what to answer. Don't really know that much about us. I guess let's not be too cryptic right away, because that'll probably make them suspicious. Lord Mortimer asked me to join him. We have some business to take care of. Oh, how mysterious. You adapt quickly, my son. To get along here like a fish in water. Would you believe that we are all here hoping to solve our personal issues? You'll see. Right. I doubt that you came here to look for your mother, your eminence. Anyway, consider yourself fortunate, young man. Because there are many who dream of simply one day setting foot on this island. And only a very few ever make it. Indeed, I imagine this must be your first time here. Oh, I like the idea of turning it back. And you, Duchess? You seem to be quite accustomed to things here. Am I right? I do not think that one can ever get accustomed to what Lord Mortimer prepares for his guests. But you are right. This is not the first time I've been on this wharf. If you've come back again, I imagine you must find it to be of some interest. Here, everything is possible if you make the right choices. It really is up to you whether you leave better off or not. Oh, God. Please excuse me if you find me overly curious, young man. I did not mean to cause you any embarrassment. Come, Duchess. They are waiting for us. We're moving, Monsieur de Richet, if you would like to join us. I'm coming, Duchess. A cardinal? A Duchess? I wonder if all the guests here are this prestigious. 
I'd known, I, I would have gone for a better suit. Ah! Whoa, okay. Are you all right? Uh, uh, some kind of condition? Mother? Oh shit, your hand! What? So? Okay, it's done. Did you put it in a safe place? Yes. The hand? I made sure no one was following me. Don't worry, Sarah, no one's going to find it. Are you absolutely sure? Yes, I'm sure. She's all beat right. up. Right. Just one thing left to no, do. No, Mother, don't, don't! What? Have you lost your mind? There's no other way. If you if you kill me, you won't find it. That is the point, my dear. No one must ever put their hands on it again. No. But I trusted you. Are we no, like Santa? Don't! No. No! <gasps> what? Are we not if you want to, Sarah? But you will pay. I think we might be seeing into the future. You. Uh, Louis, are you all right? What's going on? Here, take this. I'm sorry. Keep it. Are you better? I'm fine. Don't worry. It's getting late. Why don't Why don't you just go on ahead and I'll catch up with you, okay? Are you sure? Yes. I'm sorry. I'm sure. Yes. Fine. Well, you have my attention, game. <laughs> wow. Okay. And we saw us kind of trading places with her. I definitely have to find Mother quickly. So do we have some kind of supernatural crazier, power? Or what? This can't be real. The, the Duchess arrived with me. What's happening to me, for God's sake? I absolutely need to find you, Mother. Okay. Looks like there's invitations there. I, I noticed that there was some stuff that we got. Something about characters as well. I can run. Is there like uh Nope. Tab, maybe? Hmm. I think there might be some kind of updates about uh, characters. Somewhere. <laughs> I just don't know what button it is. <laughs> okay. Is this something... I thought there was something in the ground I could interact trip, with. I had something I wanted to ask you, but we didn't happen to run into each other. Yes, Duchess? I'm not sure if you remember, but we've met before. At that time, you were of two minds as to your choice of career. Tell me, what have you been up to since? Oh, wow. Okay. So there's like some RPG elements to this as well. Interesting. I, I got the impression that we knew each other a little bit. Choose our class, Diplomat. The Diplomat shines in society. A talented speaker, he avoids faux pas. And he can convince those with whom he is talking without offending them. Politics is his field of predilection. The Occultist. The Occultist is a master of deception, convinced of the importance of knowledge. He has acquired extensive expertise in science and the arts. Using others to achieve his own ends does not bother him. Or Detective. Oh, there's more stuff. Skills. Politics, etiquette, linguistics, conviction, and diversion. Manipulation, occultism, iridation, sciences, and subterfuges. <laughs> I don't really know what all of this stuff is going to end up, how it's going to pan out. Detective. The detective excels in investigation. He is trained to notice every detail in his surroundings, as well as in people he questions. A hands-on man. He does not shy away from the direct approach. Questioning, vigilance, psychology, agility, logic. 
I'm kind of drawn to the detective. Choosing a class defines your basic skills. The other skills will still be available, but unlocking them will be more expensive. I'm tempted to go either detective or diplomat. They're, they all seem good, though. I mean, not really knowing much about this game, I don't think it really matters which one I pick first. Let's try the detective. So this is view skills. Skill not... Oh, I see. Okay, since I picked detective, I have three points to put into skills. Seven effort points to use your skills. Your past granted you one skill point in manipulation and psychology. I guess this is because of the choices that we made earlier. And we have one in manipulation. Oh, that's good. Although we don't have the skill. The skill has not been acquired. So I guess we can't use it. That unlocks dialogue options and actions. Let's see what these do. User can uh, coordination against your surroundings and sometimes against people. Agility. Unlocks dialogue options and actions. Four points left before level two. Reduces costs and effort points by three. Oh, so they all unlock dialogue options and actions. Effort points by three. So it says, uh, use your logic, logic, use your logical mind and oratorical talents. The, some of the some of the, some of the uh, writing in this is gonna put, send me for a loop. I think psychology read people's behavior like an open book. Notice noteworthy details or oddly placed elements. I wonder if we can just use our own senses to figure those things out. Questioning. Notice anything strange in someone's behavior or appearance. Hmm. I'm gonna... Okay, we've got three points. Let's put... I'm kind of... Agility, I don't... I'm not too excited about that. Let's try logic, questioning, and vigilance. I don't know if it's worth it to put two points into one or to spread it around. And I can cancel if I want to. Let's try this. So we've got questioning, vigilance, psychology, logic. Can I? Oh, I can. So what if I do this? No. I'm going to have to somehow unlock it. I wonder if you can unlock all of these. Okay, that's what I'm going to roll with then. Let's, let's do it. I don't know if I'll regret that. Well, I demanded to inventory. Over the last Space few years, I solved a number of crime cases. Like the chauffeur d'Orgère, for example. Thieves that tortured their victims with burning embers. Yikes. Mm, charming. How did you catch them? Oh, I see the points I told the bottom the left. the cowardly one that the others had given him up. Ah, and I wager your thief suddenly started to talk. You wouldn't believe it. He told us everything. The jobs, the stashes, the names of his partners. Couldn't shut him up. I heard about that case, but I didn't know you were the one who solved it. Mm, I'm flattered that the news made it across the channel. And you've got a darn good memory, Duchess. Well, they say I have the memory of two people. But please, call me Emily. Fine, Emily. Tell me, I was actually helped on that case by my mother. You wouldn't know her by any chance. Wait, Louis. We've already met. You do remember me, don't you? Uh... <laughs> Not at all so lie to her. Uh, let's try lying. Just Let's just see what happens. Let's see if we can convince her. I know this is points down here. What happens if I hit space now? Ah, here we are. The map. Inventory. What do we have? Emily's handkerchief. A handkerchief given to you by Lady Hillsborough. 
The blood stain on it is yours. It bears her initials, E.H. Mortimer's invitation. Dear Monsieur de Richet, I am writing to you to express my embarrassment regarding the situation in which I find myself. As you probably know, I had invited your mother, Sarah de Richet, to join me on my island several weeks ago. We had projects in common regarding your order. Her stay was going smoothly until yesterday, when your mother suddenly disappeared. I do not want uh, to overworry you, but I would like you to join me as soon as possible so we can shed some light on this mystery. Please accept, sir, the expression of my highest consideration. Yours sincerely, Lord William Mortimer, Marquis of Wester First Wester Westfordshire. Yeah, I'm going to struggle with some of these names. The art of knowing people by their uh, physiognomy? Hmm. Johann Caspar uh, Lav Lavate or Lavater, 1775. A method by which to analyze individuals based on their physical appearance, notably their facial characteristics. Plus one skill point in psychology. Can I use this? Um. Oh. I don't know how to use items. Right clicking exits the menu. Spacebar exits the menu. Ah, here we are. Sarah de Richet. Sarah Faustine de Richet is a rich French aristocrat. 34 years ago, Sarah took over one of the most important secret societies, the Golden Order. A woman of strong will, Sarah endeavored to infiltrate the highest circles of society, politics, trade, transactions, uh, secrets of state, or paranormal spheres. The Order had an eye over everything. One of the biggest areas of growth that Sarah brought to the Order was the development of its branches in America, Europe, and Central Africa. Not to mention the expansion of her occult section, which she took care of personally. Since he was just a boy, Sarah has been preparing her son, Louis. Is it Louis or Louis? It's just Louis. To become the new face of the Golden Order. Giuseppe Piaggi. I know I'm not pronouncing Giuseppe right. <laughs> to be discovered. His eminence, the Cardinal Giuseppe Piaggi, is a, a legate of Pope Pius VI. A distinguished speaker, Giuseppe Piaggi, worked throughout his career to serve the principles of the Roman Catholic Church. A man of science and amateur philosopher, he quickly caught the ear of the Pope, who discreetly named him Cardinal in Pictore. He was thus able to use this relationship of trust to help Pius VI in his difficult mission of guiding the faithful. Invited by Sir Gregory home, Piaggi is delighted to meet his old friend Mortimer in order to represent the interests of the Holy See. There's us, of course. The only son of Sarah, Louis Mora de Richet, is a young Parisian aristocrat. Ever since uh, he was a young child, I'm going to say Louis, because that's what it would be in French, moved in uh, his mother's circles. And so it was natural that on his 14th birthday, he entered the Golden Order, the secret society headed by Sarah. Precocious Louis progressed quickly at her side, despite the daily treatment his mother uh, prescribed for his chronic migraines. Okay, so he does have chronic migraines. He climbed the ladder until he was able to assist his mother in occult cases, for which he was particularly talented. As time went by, he became shaped in the image that his mother had held for him. Everything pointed to, one day, young Louis becoming the head of the Golden Order. Emily Hillsborough is an English duchess close to the English crown. Very discreet about her origins, Emily only came into the political scene after her wedding. Uh, that some qualified as a marriage of interest to an old English aristocrat on the decline. Libertarian, modern, but discreet, she has taken it upon herself to establish close ties with her peers. In a few years, she has become the favorite diplomat of the queen, which is what probably prompted her uh, prime minister, William Pitt, to take her as private secretary, thus provoking much suspicion and jealousy. As a regular visitor, Emily accepted Sir Gregory Holmes' invitation to come to Lord Mortimer's Island, because for nothing in the world 
would she miss one of these famed receptions? I wonder what goes on here. Can I click on them? No. We got the map. This is our character. Talents. Whoa. Policing mastery halves the fake elements displayed during an opportunity. Archaeologist, you gain 10% more experience at the end of a quest. Inspector, you recover your effort points lost when you encounter an immunity. <laughs> okay. Using a golden elixir also gives you an effort point. Picking up consumable gives you another, uh, another one. Okay. You gain one extra effort point when you exploit a vulnerability. Increases your effort points pool by one. We're athletic, apparently. Assertive. You no longer suffer the exhausted state when you encounter an immunity. I don't. I have no idea what immunities are. Your effort points pool is increased by one. Oh, I guess we have to do. We have to do these things, right? Reach level five, and then we get that. Reach level three in vigilance and level two in questioning and psychology. And we get that, I guess. You can equip one extra manuscript. Jack of all trades. You gain 10% more experience at the end of the quest. We obtain all level one skills. That's intriguing. I wonder if it's worth it to specialize or if it's better to go for all kinds of different things. Charismatic presence. You gain one skill point in manipulation. You have always been charismatic. Trusting. This is based on our decisions, I think. You gained one skill point in psychology. You trusted your mother. Detective, because of the class that we picked. Skills cost less to acquire. You have chosen the detective class. Let's try lying to her. How could I forget a woman such as yourself? A woman such as me? What a sweet talker you are. Remind me of how we met? Shit. <laughs> she got me. Skills. Your skills give you access to unique choices and actions at the cost of effort points. The higher your skill level, the lower the cost in effort points. Browse your skills by using the character tab in the menu. Okay. Don't you remember? Shit. We bumped into each other at Mesmer's show in Paris. That fraudster had even bamboozled the Marquis of Lafayette. You too, apparently, because I've never been to see him. Ouch. Well, that didn't work. Right. Time to go to the manor. Let me explain to you what happened there, ladies and gentlemen. You have to hold down the left mouse button to validate. And uh, after, I guess that's like skipping, right? Um, my mouse button happened to be on that dialogue option before I even read them. <laughs> okay, that, that was annoying. But that's fine. We're learning. Opportunities. Your skills allow you to discover hidden details. Select the object that is most suggestive of the situation in order to discover them. Opportunities do not consume effort points. Access the skill required for the situation. You just need to have unlocked it. Oh. I ask her a question. She answers with another. Is she playing with me? So I could have clicked on her necklace or her mouth there. I wonder. I, I wasn't sure if I had a time limit, so I just kind of clicked the first thing that I saw. Uh, personality. Each person you meet on the island has their own personality which makes them vulnerable to certain skills and immune to others. Okay, the immunity. Exploiting their personality is crucial to achieve your personal goals. Skills used against immunities will not succeed and leave you exhausted. Meanwhile, exploited vulnerabilities will give you one effort point back. That's cool. All right, I like the system. We'll see how it, how it plays out though. Review immunities and vulnerabilities in the journal tab in the menu. I see. So we um, we revealed an immunity and a vulnerability. So let's take a look at that. Oh, we can hold. Emily, please excuse my insisting, but you still haven't answered about my mother. Do you know her? You okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Is it here? Oh, she's immune to logic. So we just discovered an immunity, and that's it. Immune to logic. Okay. Hey, Louis. Everybody here knows Sarah de Richet. I don't know where we're going like this, Emily, but you're connected to my mother one way or another. And if I can believe my vision, 
You don't have much of a place in her heart. Talents. You obtain talents when carrying out certain actions. Remember to review their unlock conditions and effects, as they offer very interesting improvements. Review all talents in the dedicated tab in the menu. Okay, let's take a look around. Royal Jelly. Restores two effort points. You cannot carry more than five. It kind of feels like a board game. Must be an incredible view from up there. Impossible to set foot on the island without being seen from 300 meters away. It is pretty impressive. I like the art style. It's very... It looks a little bit like Dishonored, but also very unique. We have to go to the manor. There's a gentleman here. You know me, <laughs> everybody. I like to explore, so. Good oh. evening, sir. May I ask your name, please? Louis Moraz de Richet. Monsieur de Richet, delighted to welcome you among us, sir. You must be Sarah de Richet's son. I must tell you, we are doing our utmost to find your mother as quickly as possible. Because we're not going to be exploring right now. This guy's not going to know anything about our mother, right? I have an appointment with Lord Mortimer. Would you be so kind as to lead me to him? Unfortunately, sir, I cannot. I don't know exactly where my master is. But rest assured, sir, everyone is waiting for you at the manor. Sir Holm insists on welcoming you in person. Since your mother went missing, everyone has been concerned about finding her. Who is Sir Holm? A close friend of Lord Mortimer's. Please, rest assured, sir, it won't take us long to find your revered mother. Indeed, we are searching the caves again because lights were seen at the wharf just last night. Where we are now? Indeed, sir. According to our information, lights were seen in the middle of the night, sir. After verification, none of the guests seemed to have left the manor last night. We think that perhaps Sir's mother was here. Oh, what's this? Question level one. Um, I don't have that, right? Let me just and try. Did you find anything then? We discovered a certain amount of damage, sir, on the wooden part of the wharf. What type of damage? Broken barrels, mainly. We'll do whatever is necessary to have them rapidly repaired. But quite frankly, I can't imagine what Sir's mother would have been doing with them. What could Mother have been doing with barrels? Nevertheless, our search of the wharf hasn't been entirely unsuccessful, though. What do you mean? We seem to have found an object that would appear to belong to Sir's mother. A handkerchief. I guess we're a collecting handkerchief these. is embroidered with the initials S-D-R. We came to the conclusion that they are the initials of Sir's mother, Sarah de Richet. I have orders to give it to Lord Mortimer as soon as I see him. I know my mother. She's not the kind to go for a midnight stroll in the wharf for nothing. I've got to find out what the hell she was doing here. Where exactly did you find the handkerchief? On the landing dock, sir. The one you arrived by. So is this a weakness that we can exploit? Hmm. Excuse me. Let me have the handkerchief. I'll take care of it. It says difficulty zero, logic level one. I guess we have that so we can do that. So I guess if we had, so if we had manipulation, we could pick this option. You will kindly give me the handkerchief. It's like a Jedi mind trick. Uh, you'll give me back the handkerchief. This is for conviction. I guess difficulty zero means that if you, all you need is like a level in this and you can do it. Give me the handkerchief. I'll personally show it to Lord Mortimer. Well. I... I've traveled hard for several days in order to get here. Yes, but... Invited by your master. No, of course, but... Because my mother went missing right under your nose. Sir, please. 
And I... having only just arrived, you refused to give me her personal belongings? Of course not, sir. It was never my intention to contradict, sir. So we explained it's servant are. and logic. I must return now. There is still much to prepare in order to welcome all the guests. Sounds like this guy is easily exploitable. <laughs> it is indeed your handkerchief, Mother. You must have come here for a specific reason. I need to know what it is. Let's think. What could she have been doing out here on this wharf? So we learned about the servant as well. Oh, it's just servants. So they're all the same. They're vulnerable to logic, vulnerable to questioning. All Mortimer's servants wear a mask. It's a recurring subject of conversation among the guests. No one knows the true reason. They probably didn't want to make another face facial model in the game. That's probably why. Cool. So we have quite a handkerchief collection. My mother's handkerchief uh, that was given to me by the servant on the pier. It carries her initials. I don't understand what I'm how I use this. For clues on your mother. I guess we're gonna look over here. Where were those broken barrels? Over here, it looks like. Looks like a bar from an old gate. This miserable old bar has been broken fairly recently. The edges are still clean, and the tip is blackened. Without analysis to the contrary, I put my money on cannon powder. And the tip is black without analysis. Okay. We're going to take it with us? Do we have... I guess we have limited inventory space. This might just come in handy. I'd have to whack someone with it. I'm just wondering if there's any reason not to carry something. Okay, so with that one, two, three... We've got about 20 inventory spots. And this, I don't know what this is. This is an old iron bar whose tip is blackened. I immediately thought of this. It's like fire over here. A sack of seeds. It's unopened. No one seems to have used any. Sack of seeds. Diabolical. where we arrived from. Let me just double check over here. Ah, there's something here. Some rope. Apparently no one's touched for a good long time. Poor rope. Every rope needs a good touching every once in a while. see anything else of interest over here. Looks like there was another path. Ah. Oh, more royal jelly. So what do we, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven still. Royal jelly, devil's thorn, temporarily reveals the immunities and vulnerabilities affecting a dialogue choice. I guess we probably click on this to use it. Carmelite water. Next skill use is free. Cures negative alterations. Alright. This chest might belong to Duchess Hillsborough. Okay. Barrel's been broken for quite some time. Broken barrel. Can't jump off into the water.
feel like I looked all around over there. But it looks like you have to be pretty close to those areas to investigate them. So, I don't know, it's possible I missed something. Let's go this way. The lights came on last night. Maybe I can use the bar to pry this open? Pick the lock. Difficulty three, subterfuges locked. Let me look at the character sheet. Three points left before level one. Unlocks dialogue options and actions. Discreetly steal items, pick locks. Notice falsifications. Let's see what happens. Clearly, I'm not much for manual labor. Let's see if I can get it open another way. I wonder if we lack the strength. Force it open with the bar. Difficulty two. Agility level one. Oh, I see. See how it's going to use two of our points? So if it's difficulty level zero, it uses none. So that that's how many of our points we have to use. Well, we've got two of those gels, so let's try. If I didn't have agility, I'm assuming I wouldn't be able to do this. There we are. But there were other ways, it looked like. I mean, aside from the subterfuge. Is that a pistol? This looks like a pistol case, but it's empty. I don't know if this has anything to do with you, Mother, but if it does, at least now you're armed. Just like in my vision. And none of it's telling me anything useful. I was about to say, we saw that she was armed. Honey, the remedy of the gods. More royal jelly. Okay. I wonder if we should... I don't see any reason to keep to hang on to it, right? Like we might as well keep ourselves topped off in case we have to do something really difficult. So, how do I use this? When you collect four amber fragments, you gain one effort point. Drag it. Um, space doesn't work. Right click doesn't work. Let me just see something here. That's it for controls. <laughs> okay. Hmm. This wharf is used as storage for a lot of barrels. Why wouldn't we examine the barrels? I'm getting the impression that something bad's gonna happen. Uh huh. What have we here? It's cannon powder. Examine the can cannon powder. We don't have science. I wonder if we can come back here later after we've unlocked some skills. The bar had uh had that black on the end, and he he noted that uh, it's unusable now. It's probably I don't a cannon know what the person who left this barrel did. like this had in mind, but. It's a waste. Apparently, someone on this island has gone through a whole lot of trouble to arm themselves. I really must find you, dear mother, and quickly, too. I wonder if there's a time limit aspect to this. You just found an amber fragment. Each time you pick up four of them, you saw that they'll increase our maximum effort points. Amber crystals. there. I don't understand how I use this. I'm playing this blind, ladies and gentlemen, so... 
I, you know as much about this game as I do. Also noting the sensitivity is really low. There, it's a bit better. I think I found everything here. I always forget to look up. Wait, what about over here? No, nothing. Guess we make our way up. How did Mortimer manage to build his manor at the top of a rocky outcrop? Look at that door. That's not spooky at all. What? I just wouldn't even open a door like that. It's gonna be so heavy. Okay, it just opens on its own. Whoa. Impressive. Ah, my son. I was looking for you. What can I do for you, Your Eminence? I wanted to ask you. You are the son of Sada de Riche, aren't you? You see, your mother and I were supposed to meet here on this very spot. I was supposed to hand her a very important envelope. But I haven't seen her. If only Mother had told me why she was coming here. Anyway, I ought to take the envelope. It might have something to do with her disappearance. Listen, if it will help, you can always give it to me. Three blunders left. During confrontation, you have to go through several steps while being as persuasive as possible. Confrontations have consequences on the rest of the story, so don't hesitate to use your skills. Each confrontation displays an interface showing how much the person you're talking to is convinced. Right, I'm gonna be sure not to like click on anything by accident. Thank you, my son. Bear that in mind. I'd rather deal with her directly. Don't take it personally. Would you happen to know if your mother has arrived yet? Just, you were just gonna threaten him? That seems like a blunder to me. Um, did we get one by accident again there? I, I couldn't tell. That's really frustrating if it's always doing that when I hold down the uh, mouse button. Because I had the I had the mouse all the way in the top left hand corner this time. I guess we'll go with this option. Certainly, Your Eminence. Mother got here some time ago. I was hoping to find her when I arrived, but given the hour, she must be asleep by now. Right. I shall see her tomorrow. Oh, I see. By the way, Your Eminence, I wasn't aware you knew my mother. Ah, uh, if you only knew my son, I hold your mother in the highest regard. She has rendered great service to the church, and her help is invaluable. I hope that you will follow in her footsteps. <sighs> Only she had told me where she was headed. Nonetheless, our exchanges have always been discreet, and I should like them to remain as such. If your mother wishes to speak to you about us one day, I will not mind if she does so. That okay. is commendable, but... As we work together on a daily basis, it is surely just an oversight. Most certain. Uh, you said you work together. What do you do exactly? Shoot. Etiquette and occultism. Forgive my indiscretion. 
So they know each other pretty well, it sounds like. He must know about the Golden Order. My mother and I belong to the same secret organization, the Golden Order, which I joined a few years ago. Mother trained me, and I assist in her research. In other words, you can trust me. <laughs> My child, you are telling a perfect stranger that you and your mother <laughs> were he knows about it. secret society. It would seem that discretion is not one of your specialties, my son. Okay, he got me. You will understand that it does not encourage me to put my trust in you. Shit. I, I was kind of hoping you would trust, trust All us the more. Same. It bothers me to see you in a quandary, your eminence. Is there any other solution? Look, if it's of any help, you can always leave your envelope with me, and I'll give it to her as soon as I see her. Uh, I uh, hesitate. Up till now, we have always dealt with her in person, and that has always been successful. Oh, the pressure! Do you think I should give it to you? Okay, so we've got some skill points that we can use. Let's do it. It depends on uh, what it contains. It said to use our points, so let's go for it. Can I use them here? Yeah. Only you know that, Your Eminence. If you're asking me if you can trust me, or if Question. I can keep a secret, I would answer yes, absolutely. I understand. In truth, it all depends on the nature of the contents of your letter. It is a list of names. Good. This list must be of extreme importance. Ah, if only you knew. It's a list of people that your mother must help. Listen to me, my child. If I give you the letter, can you promise me before God that no one other than your mother will read it? Conf the last step of the confrontation. You must convince the person you are talking to by giving a positive answer. If you give a bad answer, the step will repeat itself until either you give a right one or you have no blunders left. I have two blunders left. Okay. I'm gonna try spacebar this time. Okay, good. Shoot. Listen to me, my child. If I give you the letter, you can uh, can you promise me before God that no other and your mother will read it. Shoot. Let's just be honest. We're gonna read it. I swear by no. the almighty God to honor the promise that no one but my mother shall cast her gaze upon your letter. <laughs> Good. <laughs> Listen, let's stop there. I'm going to tell I love you a it. secret, Monsieur de Riche. Your mother and I are organizing the escape of a large number of French priests who face a massacre organized by the accursed Republican tribunals. The church is literally being bled like a beast. Without your mother, hundreds of men of the cloth would have gone to the guillotine. She has made the services of your order available to us by organizing the priest's safe passage across the borders. See, he knows about the order. Even if she does not share all our convictions, she always provided assistance. Young man, you can be proud to be her son. Be it only for her sake. Always respect your name. Here. Letter I spoke of. It includes a list of about 15 names ready for departure. Be quick. Remember to tell Sarah when you see her that time is short. I'm glad I changed my mind at the well last minute there. Played. I'll decide later when I'm alone whether to look at what it contains. Hidden elements. Many clues and items are hidden. Some of them will have an impact on your adventure. So do not hesitate to look for them. Got the sealed letter. Oh man, I love this. I'm 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 wondering still though if there's like some kind of time element to this. The environments are really beautiful. This is gonna be a blast. I'm gonna uh, wrap up this episode here though. Let me know what uh, what you all think. <laughs> it's really stressful those uh, confrontations, <laughs> but I'm enjoying it. 
This is Luckless Love Locks signing off for now. I'll see you on the next episode, and I love you all.